I was talking to my friend about Ansible automation and how we are implementing automated solutions for cloud or on-premise uh, infrastructure. Then he told me that his team is looking for such tools to automate their Windows servers and desktops. Uh, when I suggested Ansible, he didn't believe me as he thought Ansible cannot do anything with uh, Windows machines. Oh, then I realized uh, there are some misunderstanding about Ansible and it is supported and, and it supported uh, platforms as most of them thought Ansible is only available for Linux or Unix. Yes, that is true. Ansible is not natively available for Windows yet, but you should know that um, you, you can use Ansible to manage your Windows machines as well. And of course, other devices like network devices, firewall devices, cloud container, and more if you are watching our videos for the first time my name is Gini. if you think our videos are useful please subscribe to this youtube channel to get all the latest videos do you know you have more than 100 windows modules available i mean already available to use from ansible community but it is not as simple as linux managed nodes um, where you need to configure uh, ssh credential only uh, for windows uh, you need to configure some steps uh, on your windows machine as well so that ansible can talk to your windows machine and execute automated tasks and this carries for you if you are struggling to configure your windows machine uh, or machines to be managed by ansible what are the supported windows operating systems ansible will support most of the windows os versions like windows 7 windows 8.1 windows 10 Windows Server 2008, then 2008 R2, 2012, uh, 2012 R2, Windows um, Server 2016, 2019, yeah, most of them. Okay, what about uh, Windows host requirements? Okay, it's very simple. Your Windows machine should meet some requirements uh, such as uh, PowerShell 3.0 or newer is required, .NET 4.0 uh, or newer should, should be installed then a winrm listener should be created and activated so let us try this on a new windows machines okay first we will check the powershell version for that open a powershell console and verify the powershell version now we need to configure winrm you need to configure the listener and the service on the windows machine as part of a uh, winrm setup you have to execute a few steps in powershell for this but Fortunately, there is a ready-made PowerShell script available in Ansible repository called configure um, remoting for ansible.ps1. You can just download and execute the same on the Windows machines. We will get a PowerShell script and then execute the same. The script is working fine and no issues if you are if you or your organization have any concern on executing this ready-made script uh, like the authentication it is using the access policy etc then uh, you can manually configure winrm listener and the service by following winrm setup documentation refer to the link in the video description for that next we need to ensure winrm ports are open so make sure uh, the ports 5985 and 5986 are open in the firewall both OS as well as on the network side That's it. Now you can access your Windows machine over WinRM and Ansible will be able to execute playbooks and tasks on your Windows machines Let us test Ansible to Windows uh, access uh, Actually, as you know, the first thing is you need to add your Windows machine in the inventory I have added uh, my new windows uh, machine under the host group called windows 2016 you can create any host group name this is just for the demo 
also need to configure other parameters like ansible connection ansible port then the user credential etc either you can put it in the same inventory or under host wars or group parts uh, etc for this demo i have put everything under group underscore wars then slash windows 2016 which is the group uh, host group name note for protection you need to use password encrypted uh, using ansible vault or keep as credentials in ansible tower also you may need to create different users rather than using default administrator okay let's run a very basic ansible ad hoc command with a win ping module Yes, Ansible can reach our Windows machine and is able to communicate. Please note, the ping is not simple network ping, but Ansible will log into the machine and verify the access. If you are wondering about the win underscore ping, this is the Windows alternative for default Ansible ping module. Great. What about writing a playbook to create a new user on a Windows machine? Here see the very basic playbook and let's test it. The playbook is very simple. It will create a new user with a password using win underscore user module. Nothing complicated. Now we need to execute the playbook using Ansible playbook command. Please note the notes variable as the, I don't usually hard code the host inside the playbook. Instead, I pass the host list while running the Ansible playbook command as you can see uh, on the screen. Yes, it's working and Ansible has already completed uh, all tasks successfully. Let's go and check the Windows machine for the new user. Yes, a new user John has already been created on the Windows machine. I hope you learned how to configure a Windows machine to be managed by Ansible. Refer uh, links in the video description for more uh, details. And that's all for this video. Please like the video and ask in the comment box if you have any questions and dislike the video if you think the video is not good. Also consider subscribing to this YouTube channel for getting latest videos. See you next time with another video. Thank you.